seriously. See, I stripped that bowl, unfortunately, and I can't get it out. It's the last one. So what I did, I took it to a car mechanic and the guy got this tool out and it did it in like two seconds and he charged me five bucks. I just want to show you this one part during the tire change that I found interesting. Look at all that dust, guys. Look at all the dust on the main board. That's Guys, two worm screws and we're done. Can't wait to try this thing. All right, that's it, we're done. Whoa. Uh, immediately, I can tell you these feel weird, guys. Pedal scrape. Oh, nearly. Nearly pulled it off. Alright, so this is where the last video ended. And to recap, I changed the tire on my 16X, but it turned out to be an ordeal because of that stripped bolt. But I got it done, and this is the first time I've ridden the 16X in like uh, probably two months, close to two months. So it felt really weird at first, and now we're on our way to that gravel track to do some drifts or to attempt some. Also, the important thing to note here, guys, is that this is on the same day. Even though I released this video a couple of days later, this is still the same day where I changed my 16X tire and I took it out straight away. And you'll see why that's important soon. And now we're going to do what I came here to do, which was to try some drifts with this 16X. And we'll just play through some of the footage now. But stick around because soon I'm going to talk about the topic of this video. Guys, if you want to skip ahead, go past these drifts and just get to the bit where I start talking because that's what you want to watch in this video. I'm going to talk about what I came to talk about. So there's one fairly soft fall, a very soft fall actually. That's like the type of fall you'd have as a beginner. And I mention this because it ties on to what I'm going to talk about in this video. You can probably guess what it is. And I'm actually showing you all these drifts in sequence from when I arrived. You know, like I changed the tire on my 16X, came out here straight away, tried a bunch of drifts, and then something happens. And that'll be the end of the video. Not the end, that's where I start talking and talking about what the whole video is about. So don't go away, make sure you get there. And there's the other fall. And it wasn't that hard either. That was like, I was going like literally two miles an hour. Just, uh, it's like dropping it on its side while you're just standing there. I've seen people throw on its side harder than that just when they park it. And it's destroyed, guys. It's destroyed, as you probably guessed by now. Can you believe that? Just from falling, like what kind of components are they using? How can they be so brittle? I'm guessing the mainboard failed. What do you think, guys? 
I'm guessing that's what it is. And to its credit, it's got 4,460 kilometers on the main board. I'm, I was so happy it still held the data because the main board's failed now. I can't turn it on and I can't see now how many kilometers are on it. It's dead. It won't turn on, guys. Just from that little, it wasn't even that big of a fall. But because I had it connected to my phone, to the EUC World app, I was able to check the kilometers. And yeah, 4,460 is quite a bit, I guess, but it's not really that much. I did that very quickly as well. Like, I don't know how long, but it seemed to go by very fast. So I expect a lot more kilometers out of a main board. I guess you could say, yeah, but you dropped it. But I dropped it so softly. Like, are they, is that how weak it is? It, think about it. If it's that weak, if it can fail just from that small impact, then it could probably fail from hitting a hard bump on the road. And that's scary to me. Think about it. It was a very, like, the main board is inside, right? And I'm impacting the outer shell. So it's got, you know, it's protected. It's not like I'm bashing the main board directly. It's just inside there taking a bit of shock, you know, a bit of acceleration on the impact. So I should be able to withstand this easily. So to me, that's scary, guys. That, that tells me that they're probably using cheap components because the Sherman has, I've dropped it way more times. Like the Sherman is way more robust, doesn't even compare. And it needs to be. You can't have this main board that's just on the edge of failure, like any slight bump could make it fail you know it's crazy I reckon and the reason I say this so adamantly is because this is the second time it's happened the last time it was quite a while ago but I just dropped it on its side very just like this actually and it just failed just like that just gave up time like one mile an hour and then just a slight drop on its side and it's gone So that, to me, that tells me this King Song sucks for that. And I'm not even going to buy, like, I kind of don't even feel safe riding that wheel anymore. You know, I could get a, another main board, put it in, but I'm still on the edge of failure. You know, it, just a little hit. Maybe, I don't know, you drop your helmet, it lands on the top of the King Song and it's dead. Maybe the King Song needs its own helmet. Maybe that would help. A whole bodysuit of armor just for the King Song shin pads and armored jacket Glo gloves i'm just kidding guys but yeah it's a weak little toy and it's funny because i said that a lot of times in the past but kind of i thought i was being harsh on it by calling it a toy but it is it's just a brittle toy it can't it can't be dropped. You can't drop it even once. Like, if I dropped that thing even once, I'd be scared to ride that again because it's just that much closer to failing. So that's it, guys. That was That's what I wanted to talk about in this video. And I was thinking about getting the S20, as you guys know. And now definitely, like, I'm not getting any King Song wheel. I'm just getting... I'm going to go stick with Veteran, to be honest. Maybe I'll try another company. And in motion as well is a no-go because I'm hearing they have the worst quality control out of any EUC company, according to EVs in Canada, in Vancouver. They have the highest failure rate and it's like bogged down their service team. So, yeah, I'm not going to get one of those. And what's left? It'd be Godi. And, you know, I've talked about how bad they are, like basically fire starters. If you need to start a fire out in the woods, get yourself a bigoti and get it get the job done real fast, guys. But no, that's it. That's it for today. Um, I just wanted to share that because I find it it's just silly, to be honest.